Good morning champions, happy Wednesday. Now normally it's uh, V News Day, but I find I get a fair few uh, views on my videos for um, far more than my member base. So I'm um, gonna talk about something that's a little bit more interesting today than just the same old, same old. Um, so members, if you're interested in finding out about the news, click the Google short link today. A couple of updates, one about the Mother's Day special, two, fitness evaluation coming up, and three, the booking challenge. So click the Google short link to take you to the website and you'll uh, see all the info on that. But what I was gonna talk about um, today or what prompted me to think about this, I consider myself a bit of a, a health crusader or health and fitness crusader and um, yeah, we we'll always want to encourage people to live healthier, more active lifestyles and I, you hear a lot on the radio and the news about how um, someone died from a shark attack or a car accident or domestic violence or whatever else it is. What a lot of people don't realise, um, I actually did some uh, looking on the Australian Bureau of Statistics website and found that the single biggest killer in our nation and pretty much in the world is heart disease and lifestyle related il illnesses like diabetes and that sort of thing which are all fully avoidable with um, a healthier more active lifestyle anyway i heard this ad what prompted this discussion today i heard this ad on the radio the other day um, acknowledging um, i think it's directed at uh, women in general because the ad said what kills more women than breast cancer is heart disease which is correct um, and the ad was actually promoting going to your doctor to have a test to find out if you're at risk of heart disease. Um, well, g'day Danny, um, interesting topic, so let me know what you think in the comments or give us a thumbs up. Um, so pretty much, um, I believe, don't quote me on the stats, but I think 65%, uh, definitely more than half of Australians and Americans, um, but I'm talking specifically about Australians, is, uh, hey Davey, jump on and say g'day, let me know what you think about this, I know you're just as passionate, passionate as me about this topic. So if, if you're, um, yeah, well, so you have more than 50% chance of um, falling into the obese category if you live in Australia. So I'd say if you choose to take up on what this um, ad was advertising, going to the doctor, paying $14.95 and having a test to let you know whether you're at risk of heart disease. Um, thanks, Davey. <laughs> um, pretty much, um, yeah, 65% of Australians um, are at risk. Um, of, of that, so I'd say why put a burden on the Medicare system by going to the doctor, paying you $14.95, having the government pay for the rest, our Medicare system is um, already overloaded, why burden it even further? Hey baby, hello, <laughs> give me some love hearts, there they are, good work. <laughs> My wife's just jumped on to say g'day. Um, so yeah, so we can take these, um, go to the doctor, take the test, put a burden on Medicare, great. Um, they are then gonna tell you whether you're at risk of heart disease or not, uh, so what then? medication is that the next step I don't know um, I think do you really need to go to the doctor to find out if you're at risk as I said 65% of Australians are and even if you're not what I'm about to suggest is um, going to help your health anyway g'day Robin hope uh, you pulled up all right from this morning giving those muscles a good work out there um, so considering the, the stats and and the likelihood that um, if you're Australian um, you're at risk of heart disease because of uh, lifestyle related um, illnesses and all that sort of thing. Um, I would suggest rather than overload the Medicare system, um, do something about it yourself. Who's really responsible for your health and fitness? You can, or, or your health before your fitness. You can, um, oh good work Robin. <laughs> Obviously I, I didn't work you hard enough. Maybe we'll see how you feel tomorrow. Um, so where was I going with that? So um, you can um, disempower yourself and hand your responsibility for your health and fitness over to a test that you're gonna get from your doctor or some medication that they might give you and take a pill and carry on living the lifestyle that um, is causing you to be obese as it is. Or you can take responsibility yourself. Measure your waist and hip and check what your waist hip ratio is. And I don't know, I think it's supposed to be less than 0.9 for women and less than 0.8 for men. Again, don't quote me, I should know that one. Um, but I'm sure you can find the information on Google. And if you're outside that category, you're at risk. So do something about it yourself rather than disempower yourself and um, expect the medical system or the government to do something about it for you. Start taking responsibility for your own health and fitness. And one way I would suggest, and I'm gonna throw it over to all you guys and um, yeah, looking forward to all the comments that might come in later. Um, if you have Netflix, if you don't have Netflix, pay your 10 bucks a month and, or get your first month free or whatever. And watch this documentary I saw the other day um, among plenty which is called Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead. It's about an Australian bloke by the name of Joe Cross who was obese and suffering an illness that um, made his skin itch and it was, as he says, fat, sick and nearly dead. He went on a, a juice cleanse. Now, I wouldn't necessarily 
agree with exactly what he did, but everyone's different. I think it's up to us to find out what, what works for us as individuals. But uh, what he did was went on a green juice cleanse, filled his body with uh, nutrients that um, most of us are deficient in, in our normal diets day to day. Um, so yeah, watch that best hour and a half you might spend um, learning about how other people um, manage their, their health and fitness. And there's a couple of case studies. He does a truck drive in America as well. And um, a couple of other people that he talks about green juicing. Um, I'm sorry, Huonu, I can't help you with a health visa. But I'm sure if you uh, you Google it, you might be able to get some, some help there. Um, what I'm talking about is are people taking responsibility for their own health and fitness rather than handing it over, or in particular their health, rather than handing it over to the medical system who are designed to treat illness and injury not so much um, health. If you think about it, doctors and the medical system are surrounded by illness and, and injury, which um, certainly serves a purpose in our society. But I think when it comes to living the healthiest life that you can, the responsibilities in your hands and, and my hands, um, a famous saying is um, to be the change you want to see in the world. So while we can sit around and point the finger at the government and the fast food chains and all those sorts of things really at the end of the day you decide what goes in your in your body so put the right thing in so i um, interested to see what everyone else thinks um, still got a few people sitting on their live had a few thumbs up and hearts and that sort of thing but um, let me know what you think about what I'm saying or if you're not on live and you're watching this later the comments will still come through and I'd love to start a bit of a bit of a chat about what you think on that what do you think about um, Medicare offering or doctors offering the 1495 for a blood test to see if you're at risk of heart disease uh, and then no mention on the ad I heard about what the next step was so let me know what you think what what is the best next step thanks Davey love it mate um yeah interested to see um if you've got any other suggestions and sh solutions I'm sure you're pretty much in the same boat as me uh, exactly you only get one body make the most of it um, a lot of people I hear a common uh, response to um, you know you should eat right and blah 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 and people say oh, I'm here for a good time not a long time and it's interesting how much people don't realize um, their quality of life will change with a healthier diet and think oh you know it's quick and easy to get fast food so um, I would rather spend the time I might spend cooking by going and doing something clear that crap out of your diet and you'll feel much better and um, uh, uh, and enjoy your life more so good time not a long time well be here for a good time fill your body with good fuel and and um, it's amazing what a change you'll see in your energy and as I mentioned before that uh, documentary fat sick and nearly did talks about green juicing that's just one way of doing it let me know what you think any more suggestions um, and you're dead right, Davey. Yeah, it is up to us, as I said before. Um, there's that famous saying, be the change you want to see in the world. Anyway, um, yeah, a little bit longer video than I normally would um, would put up, but I'm interested to, yeah, generate a bit of discussion around this topic. So um, let us know what you think. Again, members, click on the Google short link to uh, see where we're at with all the bits and pieces um, that are happening in the next week or so. And just as I finish off, I wanted to um, send a big cheerio to everyone who's doing the Mother's Day Classic this weekend and or true grit so um, if you're getting out there amongst it have a good healthy active weekend um, think about having a green juice and let me know what you think about uh, what I've um, had a little bit of a chat about today and uh, I'm looking forward to catching you all outdoors somewhere real soon thanks for contrib contributing everyone especially you Davey love it mate um, Crystal love to know what you think as well um, and I even love to see you out to a uh, session real soon we're at 9 15 now new time um, so I'll see you out there before you go plenty of time because it's October isn't it I think you go anyway um, that's all I got for now I bet get on with the rest of my day um enjoy it get outside um here's just got to share this with you i'm sitting up here at benitham park i know i said i was going to sign off but look at that some beautiful uh may sunshine here in adelaide so yeah get yourself outside and get a slice of that um really get a, better get back into it enjoy the rest of your day i'll catch you real soon so yeah